Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. If you are just looking for Disney unboxings, I have an entire playlist of them, which I will leave linked for you right up here. Before we go on though, I wanted to mention that these amazing Eeyore ears, if you didn't already recognize the character, are from I believe Soren over Main Street. I will confirm and link their Etsy shop in the description box below. But the box that I have to share with you today is from Magic at Your Door. Magic at Your Door is one of the OG customizable Disney subscription boxes. That means they work with your preferences. You fill out a very extensive question questionnaire when you first subscribe so that they can make sure that they are catering to your wishes and creating a mystery box for you every month that you really, really, truly enjoy. They also have a wish list that shows you some of the cool new items that they have in stock and you can heart those items to give them a good idea of how to start to curate your box. So like I said, they are really trying to make sure that you're going to enjoy your box every month. The gold box, which is what I have to share with you today, is $124.90 plus $9.99 in shipping. If you've never tried magic at your door before, you can save $10, essentially getting free shipping using the code Noel10. I'll leave that code and a link for you in the description box below. They do have other customizable tiers, but even Mike, the owner of the company says, really, you just want to save up for the gold box, even if that means skipping a month here and there, just because that's really going to ensure that you're getting a great value. They always promise that you get over the amount of what you paid in terms of value in Disney merchandise, as well as just your satisfaction. It's really about that experience of, of opening a gold box. So that's kind of what I do. I kind of skip around between the different Disney subscription boxes just because there are so many of them out there. And don't at me and ask me which my favorite is because they're all a little bit different. They all have a different flavor. I'll definitely talk about that with you, but I cannot pick a favorite for sure. Um, but they did get me because I do follow their Facebook group and uh, they did mention this is their fourth anniversary box. And so there is a special surprise in here. I may not be resubscribing for next month just because Disneyland is reopening at long last so I will be reallocating some of my Disney budget which is pretty limited as it is towards getting myself back into the park in person instead of sort of living vicariously as I have through subscription boxes over the past year. Now let's take a look at the box itself so we have Dude the Box which is kind of his own like character and sometimes he's dressed up for the different seasons and it looks like he's almost on like something it's almost like a surfboard it looks like like it has kind of like a wood grain behind it. So I'm wondering if that is an indicator of the surprise item that is inside um, or kind of almost looks like one of those pressed pennies that you can create in the park as well. Now, if for any reason you are a subscriber and you haven't already seen what the surprise item is, you might not want to watch this video quite yet so that you are indeed surprised. And then they are also doing this fun like golden ticket thing right now because last year he actually did a whole pin series. So if you are a gold subscriber, you got a different pin that he had created every single month, which was really cool because then you could collect them all. But this time they're doing a golden ticket thing where then if you get a golden ticket in your box, then you get to redeem it for a bunch of different prizes. And even if you don't wind up subscribing or renewing for the next month, you can still get that prize from a list. They have like a special page on the website. You just have to pay the shipping for it. So I'm hoping I get a golden ticket just because I think that would be really fun. But even if I don't, it's just a little extra that they do for their subscribers. And I think it's really kind of a fun thing to do. So let's go ahead and open up our box. I haven't gotten a magic at your door for quite a while. I actually did their like one time Americana box, uh, which I'll try to leave that linked up here as well. That was a great one time box that I really did enjoy quite a bit. So inside, we're just gonna see their little like newsletter, which is just a single sheet. It's not like a really extensive newsletter and a bunch of shred and the confetti this time is uh, mostly white with some like little sprigs of color. It's kind of springy in there, so that's fun. So let's see what it says about the, uh, about in the newsletter, it says, we hope you love these magical Disney surprises that were selected specifically for you. Be sure to explore every nook and cranny of your magic box, including the insides of each item, as you never know where more Disney magic may be 
hiding. So you can also buy some of the items directly from their other website, which is jalugo.com. Um, so like if you have your eye on any particular um, like lounge fly backpacks, for example, if you're a lounge fly collector, or if there's a certain series that really is sort of catching your eye, that's definitely a great way to make sure you definitely get those items. And then it says about their fourth anniversary, a most sincere thank you for being a part of the Ohana at Magic at Your Door. We hope you're loving your maid experience. As a token of our appreciation, we've included a special gift in your gold pouch. Cheers to many more magical years ahead with Magic at Your Door. So, and then it says, if you fall in love with the special gift in your gold pouch, like we did when we discovered it, check out our newest subscription offering at Magic at Your Door. So they have a whole new subscription based on this particular product. So that sounds really exciting. They also have their limited edition uh, Christmas in July box which it's a little bit pricier I thought about it but it's not customizable and you guys know I'm super duper picky when it comes to like my Disney stuff like I only like a certain kind of pin and I only like a certain kind of bag and I'm I'm picky I'm hard to shop for when it comes to that Th this this is just why I like the customizable boxes the ones that are straight up mystery boxes I'm just no I'm not gonna be super excited so it does say that there are 100 golden ticket winners this month so I have been Seen some people getting golden tickets over in the Facebook group. Uh, they ship all the way through the end of the month. This is like officially the end of the month. So like we, like I said, we'll see, we'll see. You never know, but it would be very exciting. Oh, I'm getting the shred out of the way and there's like one big item in this box and it's gonna make a huge mess when I pull this, this guy out. But this is something that has been on my wish list and I'm super excited. And we were talking about lounge flies, you guys, and it is indeed a lounge fly. I'm trying to like hide it from you so that I can pull all of the shred off so that you can see this amazing bag in its glory. This is so cute. I've been seeing this for a while. All right, so it's another mini backpack. So I think this brings my mini backpack collection to maybe 12 to 15, which is not really crazy. You guys, there are people who have hundreds of these mini backpacks, but for me as someone who hasn't even been to the park in over a year, that's a lot of mini backpacks. All right, so here it is. And it's so perfect that I wore these ears today because it's a Winnie the Pooh bag. And he's so cute because he's holding his pot of honey. And I don't know if you can see, but this, like most of it, all of the yellow, all of the, the poo part is actually fuzzy. It's like soft. It's so cute. And look at his little face and his little ears. I love like little poo ears. They're so, so cute. Um, so then it's just got brown straps. It does have the price tag still on it. So this is a $75 bag. Again, that's already like half the value of the box, over half the value of the box. So it says, I got a rumbly in my tumbly, which is something I honestly say all the time. And something that kind of happens when you're at the parks and you've been eating all the things, which is totally what's gonna happen to me when I finally get back in the park. I do, I did finally get reservations. So I am going with my family because it's definitely a family affair in my house. Uh, we are going in June and it's gonna be awesome, but I'm going to want to eat all the things. Like usually every time we go, because we were annual pass holders before they did away with the program. It was like, you know, I could limit myself to like, I would have like a nice lunch and everything, but then I would also just be like, you know, I'm only gonna get one treat, like indulgent treat. So I'd get like a churro or I'd get like the Dole Whip, you know, maybe I'd get both of those, but I feel like this time I'm gonna be like, I want the corn dog and I want the churro and I want the Dole Whip and I also want an ice cream bar and a beignet. I am gonna go crazy. So I'm gonna have a rumbly in my tumbly and it's gonna be totally worth it. So let's take a look at the inside. So this is kind of one of the more classic um, designs. It doesn't have the side pouches, which you guys all know doesn't actually fit a water bottle anyway. But I do like when they started doing this more top zip front pocket because you can actually get inside. The lining is super cute. I have to say, like, I feel like they've been kind of like slacking on some of their linings lately, but not this one. Oh, you guys, there's more stuff in here I'm so excited so the lining is really cute it's got little bees which I'll show you in a second because I have to pull this giant thing they, they did smart packing um, putting something else inside <sighs> this is something else that's been on my wish list for a really really long time and brings back some memories so we got, we got all kinds of foozles in here you have to like I said be very careful there's so much stuff in here I have to pull all this stuff out so that we can uh, 
make sure that you guys can see the lining. So here it is. You can kind of see it's just got these little um, bees, which I think are so cute. And it's kind of got like a honeycomb pattern in the background. So inside, it's just got like this interior zip pouch, which is really nice. And there's more stuff in there too. Yes. Uh, I forgot that magic at your door boxes you get a ton of stuff the value they don't actually do like a price sheet for you so you kind of have to look at the actual tags and stuff but man you get you get great value in these boxes so I'm really excited about this I feel like I wouldn't want to use him at the park though because he's fuzzy and I don't know, think you could like clean him really well so I like the ones for the actual parks that you can like wipe clean pretty easily but like he's so cute goes with my ears um okay speaking of which we're gonna have to do like a little bit of an ear change let me put you off to the side I feel like you could do like a whole like bounding thing and wear like a red shirt and hopefully not have my belly sticking out the bottom of it all right so I always do an ear change now these aren't uh, this isn't officially ears you guys this is a little different and this is something that's been in the parks and available for a long time it's like been on my wish list for a long time it is the biggest bow I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tag off so I'm guessing that this still has the same price though as regular ears, which is $29.99. So we already got over $100 in value with just that bag and these, not ears, but big A bow, you guys. Look at this giant bow. So my friend Siobhan and I, when we went to Disneyland a few years ago, we got these great big bows that like actually lit up. And ever since I've seen this headband, I've been like, I need this because I don't have that like light up bow anymore. And it was like something you had to like, had a, like elastic strap and it didn't really stay on that well. But I just think this is so fun and like cartoony and I feel like it's perfect for like Toontown almost. So I love you, Eeyore, but I have to take these ears off so that I can put on my enormous, enormous bow. Um, like I said, you guys, these have been around for a while. They have a pink version as well, but you guys know me. I'm not into the pink. I'm much more into the classic kind of Minnie Mouse and they're kind of off. It's kind of offset, which I love. Like how exaggerated and fun is that? I mean, I had already picked out the ears that I was going to wear to the parks, but I feel like almost want to wear these because I just feel like they would make the best pictures ever I might have to wait just because if you get tired of wearing these like that's gonna take up it took up pretty much the entire lounge fly bag so I don't want to have to carry my my big bow around it's so plush and squishy oh my god I love 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 this and I have a big head so the fact that this actually makes my head look small is another reason I love this headband. I'm so excited. Okay, let's look at some of the other stuff that we got. Like I said, they had so much stuff in that bag. I feel like I have to like search and look in it one more time, but um, we got some pins. Now I said I'm very particular with my pins. I only collect Mickey icon, like the shape of Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse with the bow uh, pins. So they actually sent me some that I do not have. And of course my pin board, my cork board is even shaped like a Mickey head. I'll maybe take a picture of it so you guys get an updated version version of it for over on Instagram but these are nice and simple this is a $15.99 for these two pins we just got Mickey and Minnie they totally go with my bow so I love this so that means we are up to about 120 a little over in value and again this box was 125 so I'm always hoping that it covers the shipping and then maybe a little bit more um, sort of to equate the 10% discount that I used to get as a pass holder but it looks like we're definitely gonna go past that because now I also got a really cool um, water bottle holder. I thought it was a lanyard at first, but it's actually a water bottle holder. This is cool. So it's got this, um, it's got this Mickey hand, which is like rubberized and they like gave you a card so you see what you do. So you put that like loop over the top of the water bottle so that you can hold on to it and it just kind of swings free. And then it's on this carabiner, which is cool and red. And then there's even an extra clip on this lanyard, which uh, is great because it's all the like <laughs> deconstructed Mickey, right? So it's got his shorts, it's got his shoes, his head, his glove. And I think that's great because I'm all about like the the classic Mickey and Minnie like I mean I have like my favorites that are like a little bit more like outliers like Baymax and Wally -E and stuff but when it comes down to it I love me some like red polka dots Mickey and Minnie so this is a great thing to have for getting back into the parks yay so I might have to use one of my backpacks that's more in the uh, uh, red and black sort of color palette I gotta, gotta readjust my whole plan um, but this is actually really a cool thing to have because sometimes it doesn't make sense to put the water bottle which then is kind of cold and gets everything else in your bag kind of wet etc etc but this just kind of fits over it's like nice and stretchy 
I think that's a really good thing to have in your bag. So I have never seen that, but I am really excited about it. So good functional item. And then we got some jewelry. I always love having uh, Disney jewelry, one because it doesn't take up a lot of space in my house and it's really fun to even accessorize with a little bit of Disney even in your daily life, even when you're not going to the parks. So this is from the um, from Disney. Uh, this is a $25 value. So I'm trying to see what the, so it had the teal because they do a color-coded thing on a lot of their products because that way they can raise the prices really quickly. So this lanyard water, water bottle holder was uh, $12.99. So we're looking at, now we're at like a $135 value. Plus this um, piece of jewelry, whatever it is, which is like $24.99. So now we're like verging into like $150, $160. I'll do the math and total it up for you guys in below. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm gonna pull this out. So it comes in this really pretty box, so it's very regiftable if you want to, but this was not even on my wish list. They just they just know me. So I prefer gold jewelry, which it's actually hard to find gold Disney jewelry. It's this beautiful necklace with this circle of sparkles, and then I love that the little Mickey icon is kind of offset. That is so cute. I've never seen that before and I love that and that is just totally my style in terms of it being delicate and sweet and something I could totally wear every day with just a little touch of Disney so awesome I'm so excited now they always in whatever color you get if you get the gold box yes they also have a silver and a bronze but those are the lesser boxes we're sticking with the gold they always have a pouch inside that matches that color so we got the gold pouch and it always has like a fun surprise in it like the small smaller items. So this is a really big gold pouch though. So I'm thinking that this has the surprise fourth anniversary item in it. So let's open it up. So it is, and it does match the, uh, it does match the, the box in terms of what it is. So it's this like a wood burned image. This is really cool. Um, but I'm guessing this looks to me, yes, this is Cinderella's castle, which is a Walt Disney world castle versus, uh, the teeny tiny Sleeping Beauty castle that we have here and you guys know Disneyland is my home park just because I've never been to Walt Disney World it's much further away obviously um, but it is beautiful what a cool item so it sounds like if he's gonna do a subscription out of these it's gonna be different images uh, different like maybe icons or scenes from the parks which I do think is really cool I don't know what I personally will do with this but I agree this is a really cool item and a really fun way to celebrate their anniversary so that's really neat and it's it's got like a lot of dimension to it like definitely the darker parts are like deeper so there is like um, some depth to it so it's really cool I wonder if you could even do like a like rubbing over it and see how that came out but that's a really cool item I think that's a really nice thing that they included for us I don't think I got a golden ticket you guys which was to be expected they did include a little like command strip though so if you want to mount it on a wall that's actually a very nice um, touch that they included that for us so I am very very excited and happy about this box you guys I think the value of it was phenomenal like I said I think it's like about $160 plus we got that extra gift to celebrate their anniversary let me know though in the comments below what your favorite item was I'm actually having a really hard time. This might be my favorite Magic at Your Door box that I've ever gotten. It was a great mix of things from my wish list, things that are totally within my preferences that I'd never seen before. It might have to be the bow just because I've been wanting it for so long, but um, I also really love that necklace. I think it's beautiful. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you appreciated it, please do give it a thumbs up. Hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing or maybe at Disneyland.